Mark, when we were just talking, you mentioned to me that there's an epidemic of myopia, which I had no idea about. So there are all these kids that are nearsighted and having a difficulty seeing far away. So what's going on? Think about that. You know, you have, you grow up, you're seeing great far away, and then about fourth grade, all of a sudden, and fifth, sixth, seventh, you start to see kids getting glasses in school. And in China, it's almost up to 80 to 90 percent. So what affects it? Is it genetics? No, maybe a little bit genetics, but basically it's how we use and abuse our eyes. A little story I tell is I went to a uh, high school in Manhattan that was a math and science high school. You looked in the yearbook, 90 percent of us wore glasses, but less than 10 percent of juvenile delinquents use glasses. As we go higher and higher into studying, lawyers, doctors, accountants, you start to see an epidemic up to 90% of them needing glasses. So function affects structure. If you're going to look up close all day, then your eyes going to adapt for that. And there's tons of studies that show that. So it, that was the classic bookworms would need eyeglasses. Correct. But with the screens where people are living on screens now, do we have an increase in this nearsightedness? Totally. Yeah. Not only are we just not only just looking at books and screens, we're looking at phones. We are a near-centered society. So when you make your, like I said, function affects structure. If you carried 50 pounds of rice on your back every day, this would be straight. If you're going to look here all day, your eyes going to adapt for that. So what's the solution for kids? Are we tell it, making sure that our kids are off their screens, looking far away, should they take a break? How should parents help their kids not become? They need to take outside. breaks, they need right. to be outside. They should, they, I have the 2020 rule, if you're gonna read or do things for 20 minutes, take at least a 20 second break about relaxing your eyes. Um, and really, moderation. You know, all of a sudden you see these kids, they're in front of screens or books three to four hours a day or more, something's gonna give. Yeah. So we need to have them out, be more flexible, and, um, and get the flexibility and the adaptability of the eye muscles more uh, flexible so that they don't contract. Yeah, it really is about the muscles. I'm just thinking, like, just like we do counter exercises for our bodies, that you need to do your whole body exercise, you need to exercise your eye muscles, the short ones and the far ones. Totally. We can do yoga at any age, we can do exercise at any age, you know, dentists talk about dental hygiene. How about visual hygiene? Great. All right. Thank you, Mark. If you like what you just saw with Dr. Mark Grossman, come back to our website. We have a whole lot more videos with him and with our other great experts. And do me a favor. Do the social thing. Share it. Tell your friends. Tell your family. It's great information for all.